The venue has a 19-inch monitor. The battery life for the venue is up to four hours of scanning time with a battery indicator that clearly displays the remaining scan time. The venue was engineered with a seamless flat display for easy cleaning. To allow cleaning of the touch panel display without affecting the system operation, tap settings, then tap clean. Swipe to exit. For a complete list of approved cleaners and disinfectants, visit gehealthcare.com. The venue has multiple portability features. You can maneuver the monitor up and down, swivel side to side, tilt, and move the monitor on the articulating arm, which you can pull away from the system. There's a safety locking mechanism to lock the articulating arm while transporting the system. Probes are located at the top of the system so the cables never touch the ground, even when the system is at its lowest height. This keeps the probes and cords safe, secure, and clean. The venue comes with a power cord management solution for easy storage. The venue's wheels have both front and back steering and braking mechanisms. To activate steer, press down on the green lever. To release, press down the gray lever. To activate the brake, press down on the red lever. To release, press the gray lever. The venue system comes with an onboard storage bin. Additional optional accessories include an ECG module, a black and white printer, and a barcode reader. When transporting your system, always turn off the circuit breaker to save the life of the battery. The venue has four probe ports on the back of the system. To connect a transducer, insert the probe into the port, then slide the lever towards the lock icon. To remove the probe, slide the lever towards the unlock icon and pull the transducer straight out. On the back of the venue, there is an Ethernet port, an HDMI port, and two USB ports. The back of the venue's monitor has an additional USB port. If you have a wireless adapter, it can be placed here. To power on the system, simply tap and hold the power button. To shut down or place the system in standby, press the power button. If standby is chosen, the system will reboot in 6 seconds. When shutdown is selected, the system will reboot in about 46 seconds. If the power button did not respond when attempting to shut down, tap settings and tap off. This option is configurable.